Today, Boeing unveiled its vision for the future of travel and transport uh, here at the Farnborough International Air Show. I'm with uh, Boeing Chief Technology Officer Greg Heislip and, and Boeing Horizon X Vice President, Boeing Next Vice President as well, uh, Steve Nordland. And they're here to answer your questions. As the Boeing company, we feel like it's our responsibility to lead towards solutions of those problems. And uh, we're optimistic that those problems can be solved, just like the problems when the industry started 100 years ago. And we were leaders then. So with that, I'm going I'm to turn it over to our new Vice President for Boeing Next and Horizon X, uh, Steve Nordland. <laughs> And he's going to tell you a little bit more about that. Thanks, Greg. And it, it's exciting to uh, to launch uh, Boeing Next today. Not only did we launch Boeing Next, but we also uh, announced a new collaboration with uh, a company out of Austin, Texas, Spark Cognition. They happen to be one of our portfolio companies, but we're expanding that relationship to focus on one of the areas that's really important for success here, which is the integration of autonomous vehicles in the air with man flight and it has to be done in a safe and reliable way maintaining the integrity of the airspace that we're all used to and accustomed to flying through uh, so uh, spark cognition a, a small company in austin texas but a big power uh, they were recently named as the the sixth or the ninth uh, most uh, disruptive technology company by the Wall Street Journal and they specialize in machine learning and artificial intelligence. We mentioned Horizon X, one of your many roles and responsibilities here and, and I've heard you say that uh, one of the key components is really um, is beyond the, the cool stuff, the stuff that flies and the technologies. It's, it's about developing the partnerships and making the investments that will help make this new mobility ecosystem a, a reality. Will you talk a little bit about what that's what that's all about. Yeah, sure. Like I said, when, when we develop an ecosystem, you got to do it with partners. And so, uh, you know, we're, we're engaged in an, on a number of fronts in those areas around partnership. But also, we, we have a venture fund attached to what we do. And we've made, oh, geez, in the past uh, uh, 12 months or so, you know, uh, 15, 15 or so yeah. investments that, are, that we've gone public with. Uh, and those, uh, you know, are all different variety. But if you look at them, they're really the building blocks to what we're trying to do here today. You know, key technologies in autonomy and artificial intelligence and you know, battery technology and energy technology, new materials, advanced materials. And, and, and we establish commercial relationships with those companies as well. Uh, and, and in the case of Spark Cognition, which was in our portfolio, we've just taken that relationship even a step further, uh, calling on uh, uh, Spark's uh, great uh, capabilities around uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain technologies, where we think along with our innovation and our expertise and deep knowledge domain expertise, we team us up together and you know, we'll tackle this real hard problem about how you have safe flight in the airspace. And a new air traffic control system that integrates with manned aircraft in a way that just allows us to really unlock this opportunity that aviation brings. Talk to me more about technology. You've mentioned uh, AI, you've mentioned blockchain, uh, Boeing, you know, engineering, really engineering the future. How does tech, what technologies really come into play to unlocking this future? And how do those technologies help ensure safety? Because if I'm going to live in a world in what you've just outlined is possible, I want it to be safe. Yeah, right. Yeah, and that's critical in all in all of our work, and that really represents some of the hard problems we're going to get at solving. Yeah. The uh, but when you think about if we have electric or hybrid electric propulsion, so I've got clean, clean and quiet propulsion. Um, when I've got vertical takeoff and landing, or you know, extremely short vertical, or near you know, very short takeoff and landing, um, I don't really need a runway or any uh, anymore. And then when I've got autonomy, I don't need a pilot's license anymore. And there's there's the unlock for everybody. But that needs to be safe. Yeah. So all of those things need to be done. And I think, as I said, there's a lot of really hard problems here to solve. Being able to certify um, an autonomous vehicle with AI as safe to use is a hard technical problem. We think it's solvable, yeah. but there's a lot of work to do there by some very smart people to say, yep, um, it's safe, but that safety is so important because that's going to be the public acceptance is going to hinge on that for these new modes of transportation. And so that's why that's really our first priority. But then, even going beyond that, 
if I've got many more things up in the air flying, I want a safe air traffic management system. Mm -hmm. And that's where our partnership with Spark, Spark Cognition is going to explore other technologies so that in that future world, we understand what that infrastructure needs to look like. So we've got a safe air traffic management system and we have safe vehicles operating within that system. New rules of the road. New rules, new roads. New roads, <laughs> no roads.